everyone, Brooke here, and I've had kind of a crazy week, so I decided to make a quick paint pouring video. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while and haven't had a chance to do it yet. I got some um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and I've been wanting to create a mixture like what Mixed Media Girl does. I really love her videos, I love her style, so I've been wanting to try kind of her formula, which is, um, let's see, six parts Floetrol, three parts paint, and one part water. And I've done that in these bottles, they're a little bit hard to see this close up. Um, but I have a bunch here and figured I might as well try a quick pour. quite sure which colors I'm going to use yet. Um, I know I wanted to use red, blue, and white. And I, I only have primary colors right now. Let's see. Kind of hoping I'll get some purple in here. Which, especially because this mixture is a lot more fluid than what I usually do. We should be able to get some purple. Um, a little bit more white. I'm gonna have to figure out a better system for pouring. These ones, the mouth of these containers is a little too wide and it's dripping everywhere. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want some black. I might as well try it. I have it here anyway. And I prepped the canvas a little bit with some um, white gesso before. And it may not even be dry yet because I just did it. I tend to notice that the texture of the paint once it dries tend to be, tends to be nicer if I have gesso on beforehand. So I'll see if that works. I decided that's going to be enough. Maybe a little bit more blue, red, and some white, and then that should be good. Let's see. Ooh, that's a lot more than I thought. Okay. I'm just going to move my paint out of the way here. And I'm just going to do a flip cup. Look how cool it already looks in that cup right there. Alright, I'm going to let that sit there for a second. It's already kind of floating up a little bit. I'm really excited about the consistency of these paints. I think it's going to work out really nicely for what I'm looking for. And I haven't, I haven't put any uh, silicone in this. It's just Floetrol water and um, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And I already see some cells, so I think that's going to be cool. I know that Floetrol can definitely allow for cell creation, so that's pretty cool. It's probably been enough. I know some's kind of coming out the bottom. So let's try this. I may have way too much paint, but... Oh my gosh, that looks really cool. I'm glad I did the, the black in there. It almost looks like little stars. decide if I want to try torching it or just leaving it. I think I might torch it just a little bit. Oh yeah, that brings out a lot more. Let's 
udah selesai Definitely see some dark purple in there, kind of around the blue area. Now one of the drawbacks of using the torch is that it kind of um, makes the top a little bit more um, trying to think of the word. It makes it flow a little bit less fast, which is kind of frustrating. But that's because it dries kind of the top layer a little bit. I'm really liking the colors over here. Actually, I might have needed a little bit more paint to let it flow better. And there's a lot of white over on this side, so I might try to bring some of the color back over if I can. get off some of that white so that I have a little bit more interesting parts in the middle. Alright, well that might be as much as it's going to move this time. There's a little bit over here that needs to be covered. Well, I can see cells continually popping up, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back in a couple minutes to see if anything's changed. So it hasn't had a lot of chance to change much yet, but I just decided I wanted to try the torch a little bit more before I let it sit, just to see if there's anything else I can bring out. Because I can see some stuff over here and I really want some of that black to come back out. I guess maybe not a lot's gonna come. I guess I should probably just leave it alone and let it sit. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see it in a couple minutes. Alright, so it doesn't look like it's changed a whole lot, but I think it looks pretty cool. I kind of wish there was more pattern or color or something over here, but I'm really loving this area, so I might try doing one with more blue and red and just a little bit of white and a little bit of black um, and kind of see how that goes. Well, let's take a closer look and see some of the details. part is really cool. That's what came from the torch after the fact. And then over here is the area I really like. Kind of looks like a galaxy or maybe deep underwater. And then right here, a little piece that is super pretty. It's got kind of a purple and blue color to it. And here's some of the teeny tiny cells that came up for this side. I think I might try to do a video where I actually add silicone and see how it looks. So 
yeah that's the painting and we'll see how it looks when it dries and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching